In this vital test, the A380 cabins must be fully assessed under normal flight conditions. Passenger opinions will be sought on all the usual amenities, such as legroom, toilets, air conditioning, heating, food quality, and overall comfort levels. Although the passengers will all be Airbus employees, Airbus knows that the world's press will be eager for their first impressions. This last test is the ultimate one, to test what the aircraft was designed for, passenger comfort. Though this test aircraft is outfitted with simplicity in mind, the moment the Airbus employees step inside, they discover the immensity of the A380 cabin. With nearly 50% more deck space than a Boeing 747, the Super Jumbo can accommodate wider seats and larger aisles than any other commercial airliner. From the first class to the business class and even the economy areas, the A380 customers are all planning to provide their passengers with an unprecedented flight experience. While the passengers settle into their seats for takeoff, in the cockpit, the pilots know that this is still a test flight with all the associated risks. In flight test, you should never be too confident. The trick of the, of the job is, is to be uh, permanently uh, uh, cautious. For the Airbus employees on board, this flight is a unique opportunity to appreciate the results of many years' hard work. A welcome chance to relax and savor a job well done. It's true that today it's the completion of all the efforts of all the teams that have been done. It's really something exceptional. But while the Airbus staff enjoy their free trip in the air, the maneuvering in the boardroom continues. Fernando Alonso, Vice President of the Airbus Flight Test Team, and Ander Krozels, an Airbus Press Manager, are called in to break some more shocking news. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, an internal announcement to all Airbus employees is being made at this moment, and we wanted you to be aware of this information. Uh, following discussions with Christian Streff, Charles Champion has agreed to step down as head of the program and chief operating officer of Airbus. Uh, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. This first flight is really an homage to Charles. And uh, keep enjoying the flight. And uh, when you come back to Toulouse, let you not be disturbed by uh, all these management changes. What is important is that we have a fantastic product in our hands. And we're all very proud of it. And I think this pride should be shown to everyone who should be waiting for us. Thanks very much.